The rest of Thai people who are overweight or obese have continued to increase over the past decades. However, there's little information about fruit and vegetable consumption in Thailand. According to the most recent estimate by the Thailand Burden of Disease Research Program, inadequate fruit and vegetable consumption was in the top five risk factors for premature deaths in Thai population. It caused 21,650 Thai deaths in 2014. And inadequate fruit and vegetable consumption was found to be associated with increased risk of cardiovascular diseases among Thai people. At a global level, World Health Organization estimated that 3.9 million deaths worldwide were attributable to inadequate fruit and vegetable consumption in 2017. However, there's little information about fruit and vegetable consumption in Thailand. According to the research gap that I just mentioned earlier, the Institute decided to develop a research project on fruit and vegetable consumption and this project is a nationally representative longitudinal household survey study of Thai population. We launched the project two surveys route. The first route was launched in 2018 followed by the second route in 2019. We collected the data in four geographic areas of Thailand north, central, northeast and south regions and Bangkok. And the third route is underway. And due to a large survey sample size and our data collection in both urban and remote area, the project decided to use the Quartrix offline survey application to administer the questionnaire surveys on the mobile device like tablets without using any internet connection. And we also can download this SPSS data or Stata data from Quartrix for further analysis. In the first and second surveys rounds, more than 7,800 participants aged 6 years or older completed the surveys. And we collected data on social demographic characteristics, which include age, gender, place of residence, uh, marital status, educational attainment, income and occupation from the participants. We also collected the data on their lifestyle behavior, health condition, life satisfaction, happiness, home gardening, and knowledge and attitudes related to fruits and vegetables. In the first and two surveys rounds, the results suggested that although overall Thai people had increased fruit and vegetable consumption, the average consumption was still below a recommended level. You can see the recommended level is at least 400 grams per day, but the average consumption of Thai people was 373.14 grams per day. The rate of inadequate fruit and vegetable consumption was high in Thai men single persons, persons who live in Bangkok, persons who work for a private company, and persons who have someone else to provide or buy fruit and vegetables for them. We found that um, there are high availability of unhealthy foods, which is high in salt, sugar, and fat. We have also found some products which has high contamination from pesticides or chemical reagents. And collectively, the findings suggest that both government and local agencies need to consider fruit and vegetable policy interventions and promotion strategies by taking into consideration the potential social demographic characteristics that affect inadequate fruit and vegetable consumption in Thai population. Research uptake is one of metrics to gauge the project success. And our research findings were used to inform or support planning, development, or implementation of a number of activities, such as um, public campaigns that were launched by Thai Hill Promotion Foundation and partners. Some examples include a public campaign, so-called in Thai, Plak Dan Hai Pak Nam. It's like, let's move, let's go for vegetables and another campaign, um, so-called Porak Jung Pak Nam. And this campaign was launched during Valentine's Day last year. Um, it's like the campaign for the love of vegetables. And most recently, in March 3rd this year, our research findings were presented 
as a background information in consultation between Thai stakeholders and the United Nations thematic working group on NCD or non-communicable diseases for discussion on action plan for the International Year of Fruit and Vegetables 2021. In December 2019, the United Nations General Assembly designated this year, 2021, as the International Year of Fruit and Vegetables to raise awareness on the important role of fruits and vegetables in human nutrition, food security and health, as well as in achieving sustainable development goals or SDGs. We hope that the finding of this research project can be useful for guiding or informing policy makers to address enabling factors and barriers in fruit and vegetable consumption in Thai population to bring about a desired behavioral change in improving healthy diets of Thai people, which can lead to improving in overall health and well-being and ultimately may reduce healthcare burden and enhance healthcare performance of Thailand.